Hi, my name is Dennis and welcome to the Retouch for Me channel. We're updated our new crop plugin, so let's dive in. What's new? New photo aspect ratio options. Original and custom. Original preserves the original aspect ratio of the uploaded photo. Custom allows you to manually set the aspect ratio and invert it if needed. New Custom Margins Panel This panel lets you set an anchor point for aligning the minimal crop area based on the selected aspect ratio. To use this feature, first activate Custom Margins, then Move the anchor point on the graph, or manually set the margins from the desired side to achieve the best result. How to use the crop modes and why they matter. Manual. The manual mode allows you to freely move the crop frame around the photo. This mode is automatically activated in other modes when you start dragging the crop area. Example. You've uploaded a photo shoot and want to crop all photos uniformly regardless of their content. First, if you don't need to lock the aspect ratio, switch to the free mode. Then, drag the crop area to the desired position and resize it by pulling the corners of the frame. Fixed. The fixed mode lets you apply a single crop type to the entire set of photos. Example. You've uploaded a photo shoot for a school yearbook where the subjects are photographed in full height. You need all the photos to match the upper body format. First, select the fixed mode. Then, choose the upper body crop type. If you need to extend the crop area, use the Extend option. You can also use the Custom Margins panel for more flexible crop area adjustments. The algorithm will apply this crop type to all photos in the set and they will be exported in a consistent format. Auto. The auto mode allows you to select multiple crop types, and the algorithm will determine the best one for each photo. Example, you've uploaded a photo shoot and want the photos to look proportionate and well composed. First, select the auto mode. Then, specify several crop types, such as upper body, half body, and full body. The algorithm will analyze each photo and apply the most suitable crop from the selected options. Indicators In each crop mode, you can see indicators next to the crop types. These indicators show which crop format the algorithm considers the best fit for the current photo. Gray indicator The frame doesn't fit within the image. Cropping is not possible. Blue indicator the frame fits within the image. Cropping is possible, but it's not the best option. Green indicator. The frame fits perfectly within the image, and this is the most optimal crop. Download the plugin now at Retouch for Me. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today. See you in the next videos.